A persistent corpse. Item number, SCP-1840. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1840 is stored at the Site-23 Medium Security Morgue. SCP-1840 is to be maintained in a standard positive temperature mortuary cold chamber. While SCP-1840 has never been observed to fully demonstrate the trait, reanimation risk avoidance protocols are in effect for this subject on a precautionary basis. Cameras and microphones have been installed in the cold chamber containing SCP-1840. These devices are to be checked on a monthly schedule and maintained as necessary. Research staff are to maintain records of video and audio feeds for a period of no less than six months for analytical purposes. At least one staff member fluent in Hmong is to be assigned to the SCP-1840 research team at all times. Description: SCP-1840 is the remains of an unidentified Hmong male, estimated to have been between 55 to 60 years of age at time of death. SCP-1840 undergoes continuous decomposition at varying rates in a non-uniform manner. Different body parts will decompose at different rates and in varying modalities. Despite its continuous presence in a temperature-controlled cold chamber, SCP-1840 will display decomposition consistent with a variety of climates, ranging from extremely rapid putrefaction of soft tissues typical of warm, humid climates, to partial mummification, such as that observed in some corpses interred in permafrost. In addition, SCP-1840 also undergoes a process analogous to partial regeneration. Decomposed tissues will begin to reform and undergo a reversal of breakdown, even after reaching advanced decay and autolysis. Liquids seeping from SCP-1840 have been observed flowing back into it during these periods. Different portions of SCP-1840 appear to randomly fluctuate between decomposition and regeneration. As a result, SCP-1840 is usually in an inconsistent state of decay. Limbs have been known to be putrefied or skeletal, while the torso and head are consistent with the condition of a recently deceased specimen, and vice versa. Portions of SCP-1840 will occasionally regenerate to a state resembling that of living tissue. The specimen's trachea, lungs, and or lower head, when reaching a state of relative structural integrity, will resume limited function, resulting in sounds emanating from the specimen resembling human speech. In most cases, sounds made by SCP-1840 can be characterized as a slurred muttering. However, depending on the condition of tissues vital to speech, SCP-1840 has been observed to make recognizable statements in the Hmong language. These vocalizations do not appear to have a discernible pattern, nor do they relate to SCP-1840's present surroundings or situation. Rather, statements made by SCP-1840 are consistent with day-to-day -day observations that would ordinarily be made by a resident of the countryside where it was initially recovered. See Research Log-1840 for details. Neuroimaging tests show that regardless of the condition of neural tissues, SCP-1840 does not resume brain activity at any time. SCP-1840 was recovered from an unnamed village in Xiangquang Province, Laos, following Foundation observation of unusual troop movements during a 1970 North Vietnamese Army offensive. Despite the presence of fresh water springs and strategic positioning atop a ridge, combatants from both sides of the ongoing conflict avoided all contact with the village site, resulting in several high-casualty skirmishes between NVA and local militia units in a nearby valley. Foundation investigators embedded in the region found the village site to be recently abandoned. SCP-1840 was recovered from a hut on the outskirts of the village. Structures in the immediate vicinity of the hut had been burned approximately two weeks prior to the arrival of the investigative team. Research Log-1840 Recorded Statements Note All statements translated from the original Hmong into English by researcher blank. Date February 22, 1971 the monsoon season is early this year, what did I tell you, Le? The old man still indecipherable. And bring in the goats. Date, January 2nd, 1972. Voice a scoundrel and indecipherable. Let him know I'll trade no more than five chickens for that rundown. Indecipherable. Junk, who does he think I am? Date, August 30th, 1974. Next year's harvest will be better, it always goes this way. Date, November 13th. 1977. I am grateful you made the journey. It's been too long, old friend. Let us... Indecipherable. And forget... Date. May 5th, 1978. Promise me, Lin. Promise me you'll abide by the old ways. 
You owe your old father that. Indecipherable. I still see him sometimes. Deep in the jungle. It is not good to discard the ways of our forefathers. Date. March 17th, 1980. These were always your mother's favorites. It does my heart good to see them still growing. Date. April 2nd, 1981. Damn this war. What have we to do with what happens weeks of travel away? Tell me you've heard something from your brother's lap, please. Date. July 29th, 1981. I can fix a fence like no one else, Swa. And of course, I've had my eye on that cow for some time. Date. August 2nd, 1981. Extended period of indecipherable vocalization. Theorized to be agitation or screaming. Date. August 3rd, 1981. Indecipherable. I'm blind now, I can tell. Indecipherable. Please find him. Find anyone there isn't. Indecipherable. Date. September 15th, 1981. This is the happiest day of my life. 